Professional sports leagues are subject to federal antitrust laws, including the Sherman Antitrust Act. When a professional sports league faces an antitrust challenge, courts typically use a rule of reason analysis rather than a per se analysis to determine if there was a violation under the Sherman Act. Courts justify the use of the rule of reason rather than the per se rule in sports because the nature of professional and amateur sports requires collaboration between entities for leagues to function. Recall that under Section 1 of the Sherman Act, an antitrust violation occurs when there is a contract or other agreement between more than one legal entity that creates an unreasonable restraint of trade. In contrast, under Section 2 of the Act, a violation can occur with only a single legal entity because Section 2 prohibits monopolies and the attempt to monopolize an industry. Generally, it is more difficult to prove an antitrust violation under Section 1 of the Sherman Act with a rule of reason analysis than it is to prove a violation under Section 2 under the rule of reason. Because of this fact, it is generally in the best interest of a sports league to be deemed a single entity rather than multiple independent teams or the purposes of antitrust disputes. In Chicago Professional Sports Limited Partnership and WGN versus National Basketball Association, known as Bulls II, the United States Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit conducted an analysis that showed that in antitrust disputes, sports leagues can often have features of both a single entity and a joint venture.